Now, we need to add a multiple of 10,000, so a number that ends in four zeros. And we can do this using our knowledge of place value, so without needing to use column addition. First, we have 65,000 plus 40,000. If we highlight our 10,000 digit, we have 6 plus 4, which is 10. And though that's a two digit number, because we don't have any more place values or any more digits to the left, we can just replace this 6 with a 10 and then leave the remaining digits the same. So our answer is 105,000 because we're changing the digits that we've highlighted and then our thousands, hundreds, tens and ones digits will stay the same. Now we have 395,000 plus 30,000. Again, we can highlight our 10,000 digits. We have a 9 and a 3, but that makes 12, which is a two-digit number, and we can only have one digit in each place value. So what we need to do here is to highlight the digit to the left as well. So highlight both our 100,000s and our 10,000s digits. Then we have 39 plus 3. That's 42. So we're going to replace these digits with a 4 and a 2. All of our other digits stay the same. So our answer is 425,000. Now we have 284,500 plus 50,000. Again, we can highlight our 10,000 digits. We have an 8 and a 5. But again, that gives us 13, which is a two-digit number. So what we need to do, just like we did before, is highlight our 100,000s digit as well. So now, in the digits that we've highlighted, we have 28 plus 5. That's 33. So we're going to replace the 2 and the 8 with two 3s. Our other digits will stay the same. So we have 334,500. Now to see why this method works, let's look back to this first questions and let's use place value counters to represent what we did. So we started with 65,000, that's 6 10,000s and 5,000s. We were adding 40,000s, which is 4 10,000s. So if we add 1, 2, 3, 4 10,000 counters, we now have 10 10,000 counters. But because we can only have one digit in each place value, we can exchange 10 10 thousands for 100,000. So that's why our answer is 105,000, because we have 100,000 and we still have our 5,000s. Then we had 395,000, so that's 300,000s, 9 10,000s and 5,000s. We were adding 30,000, which is three 10,000s. But if we add just one more 10,000, we now have 10 10,000s. So we need to exchange those for another 100,000 before adding two more 10,000s, so that we've added three 10,000 counters altogether. So now you can see that we have four 100,000s and two 10,000s. The 5,000s stayed the same, so we have 425,000. So that's why when we were adding a multiple of 10,000, we needed to change both the 10,000s and the 100,000s digits. So our last question was 284,500 plus 50,000. So we have 200,000s, 8 10,000s, 4,000s and 500s. If we add two more 10,000s, that gives us 10 10,000s, which we need to exchange for 100,000. So we've added two 10,000s, but we needed to add five. So if we add three more, we now have three 100,000s and three 10,000s. So that's why both the 100,000s and the 10,000s digits changed. Of course, we still have our 4,000s and our 500s, so our answer is 334,500.